Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am Maggie Fares, Head of Partnerships at Partial Gallery, and I am delighted to be chatting today to Farah Yusuf, who is the Outreach Coordinator of Career Development for RBC Center for Emerging Artists and Designers at OCAD U. Um, Partial is, hello. Good. Partial is really, hello. Thank you so much for joining us today. I just Thank want to you. talk about I just want to talk very quickly about the long-term partnership that Partial has enjoyed with OCADU. I think we're going into year three right now of this partnership, and as part of that, um, par uh, as part of that, Partial hosts the OCADU Artist Showcase on our website, and this features the emerging artists and designers um, who are really stand out. You know, they're, it's a juried selection, and we're so pleased to host them every year. And OCADU has such a stellar reputation, Canada's largest college for art and design, and we're so pleased to be partnering with you. And we're so pleased to have you here today. And you're gonna share your um, top six picks for artists on the partial website from the, um, from the OCADU showcase. I will, thank you. And this partnership has been great. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of an introduction to myself, um, Ari Youssef, Outreach Coordinator at um, Center, the RBC Center for Emerging Artists and Designers at OCAD University. Um, in addition to that role, um, I, I'm also an independent curator and I do sit on the jury um, selection uh, for the OCAD U Partial Showcase. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. And is is that a highlight every year? I mean, just kind of going through and seeing what gorgeous talent that are coming out every year. We do this juried process several times a year because it's yep. an ongoing um, uh, an ongoing initiative. So we'll have uh, several calls uh, throughout the year, and I, I would say maybe like about three times during the school year, mm -hmm. um, I will be asked to sit on this jury, and it's a great great, great way to get to know the emerging artists that are coming out of our institution, um, both current students who are in their upper years and recent alumni um, can apply. And uh, um, there's really quite a breadth of talent. And it's actually very, um, um, it's not just a platform for students to sell their work, but Partial does a lot of engagement with the um, selectees, I would say, yep. uh, in terms of like pricing their work, um, a little bit of education um, in terms of, uh, you know, starting this and thinking about selling their work as a business. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the life, the life of the life of an entrepreneur artist, which is really what it is. So you need those business skills as well. And you need how to, you need to learn how to price and also just, you know, how to, how to get your, how to get your work out in front of different audiences. And we're so proud and happy to do that at Partial and really give people a platform um, to reach audiences, you know, that are just beyond their back door and beyond their home city. Yes. And thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. No, it's terrific. We're so happy to do that. So share your picks with us. Okay, in no particular order, yeah. um, some of my uh, highlights, of course, I'm partial to the OCAD U um, community. Um, Jillian Tolliver. Um, Jillian Tolliver has the, these great gestural brush stroked artworks. Um, and I'm really interested in her process. She often does, um, you know, really fast gestural drawings with like ink and brush to use as material that she then creates in a larger scale using like graphite pencil to recreate that same dynamicism, I would guess, I, I would say. Um, and, um, you know, I'm, I love all of her work, but if I were to choose one in her showcase at the moment, it would be um, everything's measured in distance from you. Such a gorgeous piece. Yes, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, someone else who's actually a more recent addition to the partial showcase is uh, Helio Eudoro Rodriguez Jr. Um, you know, being a curator, doing like a lot more critical art, I'm actually really drawn also to works that have, that make a statement and say something about the world we live in. And uh, Helio has a photo series, um, I, I'm calling it the Invisible Series, uh, <laughs> um, where he's standing in various locations and kind of like 
partially hiding himself in that space. Um, and if there are two that I would call on for that, it's um, Invisible by Colonialism and Invisible by Fast Fashion. Uh, one represents, like he's in a uh, Hudson Bay um, store, you know, which has a long history <laughs> in Canadian colonialism. Yeah. And another one um, with uh, the now gone Honest Ed's, um, which I think is a bit more of this nostalgia of like um, cheap goods. And so like there's, the, these are the kinds of works that can generate quite a lot of conversation. Uh -huh. Um, another artist that I'm really drawn to is Jasper Urbina. Um, you know, I started off um, curating mostly new media arts, so I am really drawn to Jasper's process of kind of using this language of like um, digital artwork, but reproducing it with like acrylics and oils like natural paint material um and he often goes back and forth between like using something as a reference and then going and painting it back and forth um which i think is really great it's very um dynamic um very young um like i i love and I don't mean young as an inexperience but in that youthful kind of energy yeah it's um, really lovely and fresh Fresh, yes. Um, but then, uh, you know, um, I've noticed that he's got some newer works, um, this porcelain series um, that are a little bit more muted and uh, delicate. Mm -hmm. And I'm really loving this new direction. And I would love to see more. And I see that porcelain too is still available. <laughs> um, Continuing with that porcelain theme, I'm going to go with uh, Claire Heidinger. Um, Claire does some amazing work uh, using portraiture to think through cultural identity. Um, but this, uh, I, I believe she's been experimenting with um, uh, ceramic a bit more and, and producing photographs of uh, these ceramic works. Um, the Japanese eggplant and bell pepper are two where, you know, she'll position a um, more traditional piece of oriental ceramics, but then create another one that speaks more to like a food item, like not a finished food, but like the, the vegetable, um, but adorn it in that same way. Um, and I, I, I'm really quite excited about this, this kind of work. Um, another artist who's just recently graduated from OCAD University is Emerald Repar Deniston. Um, I'm really interested in her entire oeuvre, like uh, a lot of what Emerald does are portraiture, but they're really like um, unapologetic, they've got uh, a spirit of irreverence and attitude, but they're also saying a lot more too about identity. Um, and if I had to choose one on partial at the moment, it would be uh, Smoke Break J. Yeah. Um, Mackenzie Lenters is another artist that I've been following for a bit of time, of course, because of that digital connection. Um, Mackenzie makes um, these 3D scenes, like very intricate 3D scenes um, that speak to uh, that nature and technology. Um, simultaneously and they're kind of otherworldly um, some might mimic uh, landscape a bit more others might just be uh, you know some kind of um, um, I don't know how would you call it like he, he'll just put together a, a, a scene that doesn't sit in a landscape um, and uh, they're often very intricate. They often have a lot of elements. Um, and one of those that's on the partial gallery at the moment is 211 of 256 different moths. Fantastic. Oh, really, really, really great choices there for people to explore and enjoy and some really interesting pieces, as you say, people who are really playing around with what we traditionally feel and see um, and really making it their own. So really, really interesting, fun and fun pieces to look at. Thank you very much. You're um, welcome. 
And then just offer um, anyone listening here, I mean, we're going to have people who are very, very, very new to art buying and perhaps don't even know where to start, um, kind of, you know, are trying to figure out what their style is still. And like, how do I even approach something like this? Because of course, it can be very daunting. What's one piece of advice you'd give people just as they're starting out to build their collection? Um, I would say, like, does it have meaning to you? Right? Um, you know, I started saying, you know, do you like it? You know, go with what you're drawn to. Um, but what we like can be based on a number of things. It could be partially based on your decor, the size that you want. And all of these things are great to take into account and you should, because uh, you'll be living with that. But then, you know, when you look at it, does it um, say something to you? Um, and will it continue saying something? You know, my favorite artworks are the works that might have meant something five years ago, but mean something different, like, you know, yesterday or today, <laughs> you know, and, yeah. and that's what makes an artwork have that longevity for you and want to keep living with it, right? It's partly the story of the artist, how they're doing that work, um, you know, and, and following them over the course of their careers as well, right? Because then, you know, maybe it's not just buying one work, but starting to build a collection. Exactly, exactly. And it's really fun to just watch an artist grow and change their style because of course, like us, they, they grow and develop as well. And it's really interesting just to kind of be on that journey with them. It's always fun. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. You feel like you're on that journey with them. Yeah. Like yeah. these are objects that have meaning to us, right? And that's exactly. what makes them special. Yeah, exactly. Well, great words of advice for anybody who wants to start an art collection. So we encourage everyone to go to Partial and take a look at the pics that you have given us today. Great. Sarah, thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you so much for sharing your pics with us. My pleasure. Take okay. care. Thank you. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.